The media player that comes built into your computer? It usually feels like an afterthought. On Windows, you've got the basic movies and TV app, which barely handles anything beyond the most common file types. On Mac, QuickTime is sleek, but way too limited. And if you're on Linux, half the time you're left hunting down something yourself. But you don't have to settle. There are free media players out there that don't just get the job done, they actually make watching movies, listening to music, or even streaming your own files a way better experience. No price tags, no hidden subscriptions, just solid, free software that can play almost anything you throw at it. In this video, we're counting down the top 5 free media players you can download right now. And this isn't just a quick list. By the end, you'll know which player is right for you, depending on what you care about most. Performance, customization, or just being able to open that one weird video file your friend sent you. So stick around. By the time we hit number one, you'll have a player that makes you forget those built-in apps even exist. Let's kick things off with number five on the list, DivX Player. DivX has been around forever. We're talking the year 2000, back when downloading a video meant dealing with tiny, grainy files that would take hours on dial-up internet. What made DivX famous back then was its ability to compress videos into smaller file sizes without making them look terrible. And today, the DivX player still carries that legacy. It's one of the first players to fully support HEVC playback, that's the High Efficiency Video Coding Standard, all the way up to 4K resolution. Translation, you can watch really high quality videos without your computer melting down trying to decode them. It supports the usual suspects like MP4, AVI, and MKV, plus its own special DIVX format. And it's not just video. It handles most common audio files too, so it works for music playback if you want. On top of that, DivX throws in a built-in video converter. Got a file that your phone refuses to play? Just convert it. Need to trim or make a quick edit before sharing? DivX can handle that too. The interface is surprisingly easy to figure out even if you're not the most tech-savvy person. Most of the controls sit in the lower right corner, including one neat feature, casting. You can beam your video straight to another device, like a smart TV, without needing extra hardware. Now, the catch. DivX is technically free, but the free version comes with ads. Not pop-ups in your video, but still, nobody loves seeing ads in their software. If you want to ditch the ads and unlock more advanced features, you've got to pay for DivX Pro which is a one-time purchase around 14 bucks. But since we're sticking to the free side here, that ad-supported experience is the trade-off. DivX earns a spot on this list because it's powerful, reliable, and works on both Windows and Mac, but the ads keep it from ranking higher. Moving on to number four, Pot Player. Pot Player is something of a cult favorite. It doesn't always get the mainstream attention that VLC or other players do, but people who use it swear by it, and it's easy to see why. This player is laser-focused on performance. It uses fancy-sounding tech like DXVA, CUDA, and QuickSync. You don't need to memorize those, but what they mean is this. Pot Player can squeeze every bit of power out of your graphics card to deliver smooth playback, even for huge high-resolution files. And when it comes to formats, Pot Player is like the Swiss Army knife of players. It supports most popular codecs right out of the box. And if by chance it doesn't, you can add your own through something called Open Codec. That means you'll almost never run into the dreaded, this file cannot be played message. The interface, though, is where people either love it or feel overwhelmed. Pot Player throws a ton of options at you. There's a control panel that pops up on the right side, where you can tweak audio, video, subtitles, and playback settings on the fly. If you're the type who likes to tinker and customize every detail, Pot Player is a dream. But if you just want to press play and relax, it might feel like too much. Now here's where Pot Player loses points. It's not open source, so you can't peek behind the curtain to see what the developers are doing with the code. And even worse for some people, it's Windows only. If you're on Mac or Linux, you're out of luck. That's why it doesn't crack the top three. Still, if you're on Windows and you want raw performance plus an endless list of options, Pot Player could easily become your main player. Next up, number three, MPV. At first glance, MPV might look too simple to deserve this spot. 
Open it up and you'll notice right away, there's almost no interface. Just a video window with a few basic controls at the bottom. That's it. No menus cluttering the screen, no bloated toolbars. But don't let that fool you. MPV is a powerhouse hiding behind a minimalist face. It's completely free and open source, which means anyone can inspect or improve the code. It runs on Windows, Mac, Linux, and even has an official Android app. MPV supports all the usual media formats, plus GPU video decoding for smoother performance. So even though the interface is basic, the actual playback quality is top-notch. Here's where it gets interesting. Customization. MPV doesn't cram everything into its interface, but instead, it lets the community extend its powers through scripts. People have built hundreds of add-ons and scripts you can download, from automatic subtitle searchers, to advanced video filters, to integrations with streaming tools. It's like having a minimal core player that you can build into whatever you want. The downside? If you just want a plug-and-play experience, MPV might feel too bare-bones. It doesn't hold your hand, and digging into scripts requires a little more effort than downloading a normal app. But for people who like control, or for anyone who hates bloated software, MPV is fantastic. That's why it takes the number three spot. Sliding into number two, SM Player. SM Player is the definition of feature packed. This is another open source player built on top of the award winning M Player engine, which means it already has great playback capabilities. But what makes SM Player stand out is just how customizable it is. Don't like how it looks out of the box? You can swap out the interface with skins, change icon themes, and even tweak the layout until it feels just right. You can go for a simple look or build something that feels like an advanced control center. But the customization doesn't stop there. SM Player lets you save bookmarks inside videos, so if you stop halfway through, you can jump right back to the exact moment later. Subtitles? Fully configurable. Want bigger text, a different color, or even a custom font? It's all there. And because the codecs are built in, you don't need to download anything extra to play almost any file format. It just works. At first, though, SM Player can scare some people off. The default look is kind of old school. But if you take a few minutes to explore the Preferences menu, you'll realize you can make it look and behave however you want. SM Player has been available for Windows and Linux for years, and now there's even a version for Mac. That cross-platform availability plus its deep customization is what puts it in the runner-up spot. Finally, number one. VLC Media Player. If you've been around tech for a while, this probably won't shock you. VLC has been the gold standard for free media players for years, and for good reason. First, it's completely free and open source. No ads, no spyware, no sneaky data collection. Just a clean, powerful player that works on basically every platform you can think of. Windows? Check. Mac? Check. Linux? Check. iOS? Android, Apple TV, Xbox, the list goes on. And when it comes to compatibility, VLC is unmatched. It can handle nearly any audio or video file you throw at it. Even obscure formats play without a hitch. DVDs, subtitles, streaming protocols, VLC can do it all. Customization is another strong point. You can change how VLC looks with skins, and if you're feeling creative, you can even make your own using their skin editor. Extensions add even more features, from advanced playback controls to streaming integrations. The one complaint people have is that the interface feels outdated. It's true, VLC has been rocking basically the same look for years. But behind the scenes, the team has been working on a massive redesign for version 4.0, with a more modern interface. Right now, you can try nightly builds if you want a preview, but just know those are still unstable. Even without the redesign, VLC is still the most complete, free media player out there. It's fast, reliable, cross-platform, and endlessly flexible. That's why it continues to hold the number one spot. So there you have it. DivX at number five, Pot Player at four, MPV at three, SM Player at two, and the king of them all, VLC at number one. Now here's the real takeaway. The best media player for you depends on what you care about most. If you want ease of use with some extra perks, DIVX might fit. If you're all about performance on Windows, Pot Player shines. 
If you want a minimalist core you can expand, MPV is perfect. For customization, SM Player has you covered. And if you want the all-around champ, VLC is unbeatable. No matter which one you pick, the days of being stuck with clunky built-in apps are over. Download one of these, try it out, and suddenly, you'll feel like your computer just leveled up in the way it handles music and movies. And now you know the top 5 best free media players out there.